folks, my name is Allie D'Andrea. Welcome back to another Outdoor Solutions From Field to Table YouTube video. Today, I am bringing you guys a delicious but super simple burger recipe. This will not take you any time at all, but there's a really special important tip for cooking wild game specifically that you guys are going to want to stick around for. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So this recipe is was originally written for elk, but the wonderful thing about wild game meat is that you can use that pretty interchangeably for any other red meat. So instead of using elk today, I am using some ground venison. I actually think that this is a mixture of white tail and mule deer, maybe antelope too. Typically, at least in my house, all of our big game animals from the year are sort of put into the same grind pile, you know, all of the grinds that we get from each animal, and then it all is done at one time. So it's a mixture of a couple different big game animals, but regardless, the taste is still going to be vanity. Fantastic. So I have one package of ground. This weighs about a pound. And then the real star and secret of this recipe is adding some fat back into this incredibly lean wild game meat. And that is done with the help of some mayonnaise. So for a pound of wild game meat, we're going to add anywhere from a fourth a cup to half a cup. And you can kind of play that based on how the consistency is looking, how you like it. Um, but we're gonna start with a fourth of, a cup, fourth of a cup of mayo today, mix it up and go from there. So let me take care of this meat first. There is a little bit of fat already in here just because whenever I grind up my venison, I do add a little bit of pork fat, but there's not a lot. This mayo is definitely going to help bring some additional fat. So, and I'm not using a measuring cup, but about a fourth of a cup. Then I'm also adding about two tablespoons of soy sauce. Another cool thing about this recipe is you can kind of make it what you want with the flavors that you want. So you could substitute this soy sauce for something else, again, depending on your flavors. Last thing we're going to add before I get my fingers in there and uh, start getting dirty, I'm adding one of my favorite burger seasonings. So again, customizable. Whatever your favorite burger seasoning is, add it. We're gonna add about two teaspoons. And then mix. Oh my goodness. So this seasoning that I'm using is a mushroom Swiss seasoning and it smells incredible. And I think the soy sauce is gonna add a lot of good salt to it. It's another thing to keep in mind. If you do substitute something for that soy sauce, you may need to add more salt. Soy sauce is inherently very, very salty, so I don't need to add any additional salt because I have the soy sauce. Feel me? I'm really liking this texture. I think it's the perfect amount of moisture, so I'm not going to add in any mush or any more mayo. But what I am going to do is add a little more seasoning just because I think that it will be able to handle the flavor. Actually, could you? I don't wanna. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good, thank you. It really is as simple as that. Now all I have to do is break these down into patties. I'll probably make four or five out of this and throw them on the grill. So I have my grill, my pellet grill preheating right now to 450. I'm going to put a direct flame right on these burgers to get a really good char and then we'll come back and add our toppings. When you're making your patties, it's a good idea to make them a little bit bigger and a little bit thinner than you would think because when they go on the grill, they will lose some size significantly. You can see how well this meat is holding together with the addition of the mayonnaise. It just really helps this stay together very well. This one's a little too big. This is something also if you have, well, Never mind. I was gonna say, if you have kids, this might be fun to do with your kids, but I don't have kids. 
and I don't know how parents feel about kids like you know mushing around raw meat and then worrying about them putting their fingers in their mouth and all that stuff so don't listen to me when it comes to kids I have no idea okay, cut. let me get my hands a rinse and then we will head out to the grill Another trick with mayo, I'm going to butter my bun with some mayo. This is something that I do with grilled cheese. Instead of putting butter on my grilled cheese bread, I put mayo. So I'm going to do the same for my burger buns. Nick wanted butter, so I put butter on it. I think our burgers are ready to flip. Oh. Yeah. So gorgeous. So I did end up closing that flame plate uh, just a couple minutes in just because I didn't want them to burn and it looks like timing was great. Time to add the cheese. So I'm going to get this cheese on now so that it gets really melted. This is just a sharp cheddar. But again, you can use any kind of cheese you want. If I would have thought about it more, I would have bought Swiss at the store to go with our Swiss seasoning. But no big deal. This is still being okay. Yes. Okay, and then while we've got this open, throwing my buns in there. Next bun, well, I'm gonna pray for this butter. The butter might seep just right down, but I'm mushing it on your bun with my finger. <laughs> Toasting on the grill did not go as well as I had hoped. They're still toasty. They're just, yeah. You can do it. It's, there's better ways to toast buns, like on a hot cast iron pan. That would be good. But regardless, let's first start here. So do you want to do a double? You want me to stack both of these on top of each other? Mm -hmm. Do you want me to put any like lettuce in between? Sure. Okay, let's do that. Then. I would recommend adding fresh red onion, if you like onion, or in our case, I just made this uh, maybe a week or so ago, some pickled red onions. It's going to add some more complexity. Pickled red onions, fabulous. And then of course, if you want to put additional mayo or anything on there, you can. I know Nick won't want to. And then I'm going to do the same for mine, except mine's not going to be a double. Mine's just going to be a single. Okay, so before I bite into this, we have to give our taste tester a try. Is that good? Ooh. Is that good? Mm. I think our taste tester approves. Now I have dog slobber on my fingers. Mm. Oh. That looks so good. So, so good. If you like your burgers like medium or anything like that, you know, cook them a little less than that. 
looks so perfect. Okay, are we ready? Cheers. <laughs> Whoa. Mmm. Mm. So good. So, so good. Wow. You see it dripping? Mmm. I'm just sitting here like in heaven. The meat, perfectly moist. I really love the little kick that you get from the pickled onions, but regular onions would, you know, give you the same kind of vibe, that nice snap. It's delicious, can't go wrong. Super easy recipe, give it a try next time you are cooking any type of lean meat, lean wild game meat doesn't just have to be elk or venison. It could be really anything. Mayo. We'll keep in some moisture. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. For more recipes like this one, make sure to visit from Field to Table's website. They have so many fantastic recipes. And that's it. We'll see you guys in the next one.